Итак, смотрите, коллеги, что у нас с вами дальше? Впереди у нас... So, let's look at what is ahead for us, colleagues. We are looking at eight classes in this course. I will remind you that altogether we have three courses. This course will have eight classes, dedicated to learning about every one of the elements and the making of an elements charged amulet. This will take place in the four upcoming classes. After that, we will transition to elemental combinations. And we'll study the combination air, water, and then the combination fire, earth, followed by the element cross and the foundations of healing arts. Altogether, eight classes. We will proceed from simple to complex, of course, from simple elements in their pure form to their mixed combinations, on the one hand in order to learn the elements, and on the other in order to awaken this force within ourselves. Therefore, you understand that the more your astral body is cleansed to perceive the elemental forces, the better your result will be going forward. That is clear. If you think that you haven't finished your work in that area, then you are looking at double the workload. Not only to learn an element and remain in it, but also to finish cleansing whatever it is you have left. The deep dive into the elements will bring about two effects. It will bring two effects that are very important for us. First, it will not only reveal unfinished work if you have it, it will also highlight your weak spots. Because if up until now you entered an element and cleansed whenever you deemed appropriate, then beginning from today, beginning from our today's class, you will stay in an element regardless of whether you want to or not. You will just be in it. Therefore, such a deep immersion into the elemental vibrations of any element will instantly reveal problem areas within the consciousness if such are present, such as what is that prevents you from maintaining this frequency, this vibration, this force to a greater degree than you were able to in the past. This is one of the effects on one hand. On the other hand, a deep immersion into any element will inevitably affect your mind. And not only your mind, but also your body, allowing them to mutate, to transform under the influence, under the vibration of the given element. And understandably, there are four elements plus their combinations, and each of them will bring about its own specific transformations and they won't be repetitive. If we live through this experience correctly, if each transformation is allowed to occur, if we allow this force to enter, then believe me, you will solve all your social issues for sure. And why is that? Because all those problems of yours, they came about only because you couldn't access and live off of the elements in their purest form. You were forced to source them from the human world. And that always means that it would be a surrogate, distorted, altered vibrations. We are all perfectly familiar with the quality of our mind and psyche, and especially that of our body, since it is more inert than everything else. We know that if we get used to a certain product, it is particularly difficult to quit it. Especially if the product is not natural, and especially if it is packed with substitutes and taste enhancers. Our consciousness gets used to easy food, easy in a sense that it takes less effort to digest it, less effort to extract certain micronutrients from it. There just aren't any, most likely. And if they are present, then in such small quantities that it is fairly easy for the human body to extract. So the body gets used to this type of laziness, meaning that it mutates to process things like fast food, sausage and so on. For example, instead of using whole meat as a source of protein, the body gets used to sausage. Having done that, it is unable to process meat. It can't degrade it into protein and the protein into the amino acids, it just won't be able to do it. But it can process sausage, as there is little to no meat in it but not the meat in its natural state, because that will take a greater effort. It would require more work. The same thing happens with our mind. Elemental forces all around, but it's like a solution. One drop to a gallon, very little. 
Most of the time, these drops are man-made. How could I find an appropriate word? Clones, I suppose. Fake elements, but passing as authentic. So instead of the water element, we consume human emotions. Instead of the fire element, we consume human warmth, human sensations. This is where this unnatural need to crowd together comes from. There is a need to have some sort of body close by, because it would be unbearable without it. We can't consume the pure element, meaning information in its pure form. We need a surrogate altered element, one that has been masticated by someone else. Information that has been already pre-processed, chewed and spoon-fed to you. Again, you didn't have to do anything. And of course, we are also unable to take the pure earth element. We also take it in the form of nourishment, in an already altered state. And it is not authentic. But our mind and body have mutated to process these surrogates. They mutated to fit this illusion. Thus, we must reverse the process in order to teach ourselves to access the elemental forces in their pure form. The only way for us to observe these effects would be to immerse ourselves in the environment and stay in it, and not slip in and out of it from time to time. Similar to a person on a diet. Have you ever been on a diet? The stricter the diet, the more difficult it is to stay on it. So these strict diets, such as fasting, for example, are always easier if one stays in a designated environment, like a sanatorium, clinic, or some sort of resort, a place where you are supervised by a professional who won't let you break out of the state. So the element will function as a mentor for you. It won't let you escape its environment. So willingly or not, your mind will be forced to alter itself to fit the authentic, natural, elemental environment. And we must do whatever is necessary to make sure that all levels of our consciousness refuse to take illusory, inauthentic, fake copies of the elements. Therefore, the immersion into an element must be done wholeheartedly. It must be true. And in order for it to be true, when we are exploring a certain element, we will be making an amulet so that it can serve us as an anchor. An anchor to keep you submerged within an element. Today you will be receiving the stones that will serve as amulets, and you work with them according to the instruction I will provide you. We learn an element with the aim to fathom it completely, let it enter our body and develop an immunity so that to never, under any circumstances, accept surrogates from the human world or fall victim of provocations that come from the human world. How will we achieve this? This is the subject of our next course in the Elements Department. But for now, you must develop a rule. The elemental power is better than any other. And for this, we should immerse ourselves in it, stay in it for a while, and see its positive as well as negative effects. Everything has its positive and negative effects. One element increases work capacity but lowers the intellect, while another element may increase the intellect but lower the physical endurance, for example. Respectively, we could assume that the combination of two elements would imply both types of effects in the needed quantity and proportion. But in order to know your individual needs in terms of the proportions and quantities of elemental forces, you must learn and awaken all of them, experience your own individual reactions to each of the elements. Depending on that, you will come to understand which of the elements and in what quantity you will require to be successful to be able to produce a result. And trust me, everyone will have their own success formula, because it is a chemical formula of the elements, which will also be different for everyone. A universal formula does not exist, never did, not under any circumstances. No person has a universal element. This selection happens on an individual basis. And our task at hand will of course be to find our own recipe, an individual prescription of the elemental forces.
We live in cities, among people, where population density exceeds all reasonable limits. A city is a sewer, it is a prison. And from the viewpoint of all the living creatures existing in this world, people should live in a city, an enclosed space like a prison. And it would be best if they didn't leave the space, because every human in essence is a carrier of a virus for all surrounding elemental forces and races as well as animals and so on. Because humans have mutated their consciousness, mutated from a natural to some sort of surrogate state. And they search for this surrogate in the surrounding environment. Like in that joke, even if you take a person out of the city, he will try to breathe next to the exhaust pipe. Jokes aside, this does realistically reflect the mutation of human consciousness. And therefore, if one needs an exhaust pipe in order to survive when in the forest, it probably means that he will bring the exhaust pipe with him wherever he goes. They don't have any exhaust pipes in the forest. And this means that the, he will pollute the environment with such a foulness, an environment that doesn't even belong to him while jeopardizing the lives of all others. Therefore, the city is the only place in which a mutated consciousness will be able to survive. And you will feel it once the mutation that you have will start to reverse and you will see how the presence of people density around you will become not only unneeded but even unnecessary. And you will long to be in a natural environment that you truly need. And when this longing comes, I hope you don't squash it but carry it out. Human beings, as a part of nature, should live in direct contact with her. If one is being drawn away from nature, that would be a telltale sign that their consciousness began to mutate. Through sausage, fast food, bad diet and incorrect interactions with nature. Через колбасу, через Макдональдс, через неправильную пищу и неправильное взаимодействие с природой.